Gents, welcome to the annual Bikes That Spin Dat Owns update, a video that always takes me way longer than I would prefer to shoot and finish because it's all bikes that I've put together to look exactly how I want them to and I can't help but stare at them every time I bring one in and set it up for the camera. Let's not waste any time like usual. Let's just jump right into it with the OG, you know it, you love it, the Ronster Cross. Ronster Cross is a 2008 Tricross Sport that I stripped the paint off of and have upgraded heavily over time. It is the bike that I am most intimately in tune with. I could jump on it at any time and do any distance that my body will allow. I know some people don't love some of the changes it went through this year where it got a little bit bougie, but I can promise you that it is in the most dialed shape that it has ever been in and it, it deserves it. Up next, the Flat Bar Redwood. I originally had the first ever produced green drop bar redwood. I ended up having to sell that. The second the redwood showed up, I started trying to ride it like a BMX. I ended up trying to put BMX bars on it. And now it has a dingle speed. The rock hopper. The purple rock hopper, I call it the grouch. Um, pretty popular build on this channel. It was drop bar for the longest time. This fall, I swapped it to flat bar and I like it a lot better that way. Just like the Ronster Cross, it is working the most dialed, the best that it has ever worked in the entire time that I've owned it right now. Even with this rusty chain, even like even looking the way it looks right now, it is working top notch. It is dialed. And since we talked about my retro specialized upgraded mountain bike, uh, next should be the Trek. Something that I'm building in collaboration with Just Us Coffee Roasters. Now, this bike has been sort of taking a long time because well, parts are hard to get, but also I've been having a hard time getting into the look of the fork that's on it. The Project 2 fork that's on there right now is 26 inch wheel sizing. It's got cantilever bosses, but it is suspension corrected. And as far as I've learned and as far as the bike looks and the way it rides, this bike should not have gotten a suspension corrected fork. So I went a little crazy and ordered a custom segmented fork in the original geometry of the original Tange fork, Tange, Tange fork. As far as my research goes on this, it was like 396 millimeter axle to crown length. And I believe I'd need to look to see, but 45 millimeters of rake. If any retro nerds uh, can like second that for me, that would be great, uh, but I'm, I feel confident in my research. So from one end of the retro spectrum to the very modern, let's talk about the Wind Space Gravel G2. I received this frame set and these wheels in the fall, built it up with parts that I had kind of laying around. The Rockhopper actually donated its bars and shifters, most of its drivetrain actually, to the wind space to get it built, put together and ready to go. And as a matter of fact, I probably reach for it more than some of my other bikes as of late. Any super long rides or bike packing trips that I kind of have in mind are all planned to be done on the wind space. I do want to give it a little love in the drivetrain department because the shifter or the derailleur is just kind of sticky. It should get a decent cassette and uh, the brakes are abysmal. Now a bike that doesn't need anything and has an equally hilarious color scheme is my red crux. I originally bought this frame set off someone from St. John, built the bike over almost two years to get it to where it's at right now. 
It's also dialed, it's also perfect. It could be ridden at any time. It's as good as it's ever going to get. All I need to do is literally race it. My e-bike from TurboAmp. This is my e-bike from TurboAmp. At BMX, it's a Sunday discovery. I bought this Sunday Discovery frame on three ride on clear out. I don't believe Sunday makes this frame anymore. And then I discovered that my fork was cracked, so I had to get a new fork. Otherwise, a lot of these parts carry over from my old BMX, which was a proper something. But something has very much clicked and changed for me this year, where my new obsession, my favorite thing to do ever, once again, just like as a child, is to ride BMX. It's probably worth noting that any idea I have while riding is influenced heavily by this bike. Like the GTMX. The GTMX is probably my coolest bike purely based on story. I was originally gonna throw it together as a pretty boring whatever video project, which turned into a huge video series heavily inspired by Squid's Shred to Ed's bike. I kept asking Squid Bikes if they had any interest in working with the channel. They kept saying COVID was kind of like messing with that a little bit. So I said, okay, I'm gonna weld this frame together to make my own Shred to Ed's adult BMX. From one cool single speed to another, the track lacrosse bike. The track lacrosse bike hasn't changed a lot in the last few years. The biggest difference being it's got uh, neato bull moose bars on it now. Super fun bike, low maintenance to just putt around on and then jump into like single track when you see it and hopefully don't go over the bars. Speaking of fixed gears, my Cinelli Vigorelli. Vigorelli came into my possession for a very low amount of money. So I'm not into it for anything and I don't mind keeping it around even though I don't ride it as much as I would like. It kind of came into my possession just at the end of the Red Hook crits like height in popularity. And when like track crits come back around, I'll have a bike ready for it because these bikes, the, the looks don't change that much and uh, this thing's like, it's like ready to go. Let's talk about my 2013 Felt Compulsion LT50. This thing's my current full suspension trail bike. It is super beat. All of the bushings are just beat out of it even though they've been replaced. The bike is just passed beyond repair. All the parts bolted onto it are good, ready to go, just waiting for its steel full suspension Replacement frame. Have I talked about how excited I am for that yet? The Schwinn Moab 1. This, this is my cross country bike. Sitting here with a Fox Factory 4. Super light American classic wheels that I keep denting in the rear. Brand new tires, really cool stem, uh, good brakes. Okay, that leaves one more bike. Some of you might not know that I own this bike. I imagine all of you do, but it is, I don't know what year it is. It's a specialized LA Sprint. The LA Sprints have become such a meme for how expensive they go for. I, uh, I have no problem holding onto this bike and just kind of riding it, like riding it when the weather's right. Or Every so often I feel guilty about not riding it enough and thinking about selling it, but then I talk myself out of it because I'm like, no, I'm never gonna be able to afford to build a bike of this level ever again. So don't get rid of the one that you got uh, two years ago for $1,500, 1500 Canadian. Ride it when you feel like it, look at it when you feel like it, don't worry about it otherwise. And if the time ever comes that I'm that desperate, I know that there's like $100,000 of specialized LA Sprint sitting on my wall in my office. <laughs> that's how much they go for, right? And that's it. Those are the current Spindat owned bikes that are rideable right now. Question is, based on when you arrived to the channel, um, how surprised are you that there isn't more maybe retro mountain bikes, because I was really hitting that relatively hard at the end of the year last year. Um, how surprised are you that there's a lot of stuff like this that maybe I haven't talked about in the last little while? 
Um, to finish it off, I gotta know. Which one's your favorite? I really love this one. And that one. And that one. And this one, like, a lot. I really love this one. That maybe if you're into it and you wanted like more info on all of these, that I could do individuals specific to each of the bikes that we talked about vlogs for like the month of January, um, if you're into it. Done it a few times with some of them. They're always like kind of fun videos. So I don't know. What do you think? It's all over. <laughs>